Hello and welcome to a live stream. Um, I am going through my Epic collections and I am looking at the ones that I got in March that I didn't really have time to look or do anything with. So I'm catching up on a few of them. This is Fantastic 423, Nobody Gets Out Alive. There's Ben on the cover with a uh, bucket on his head. Uh, 23 covers 1993 to 1994. I'm up to 1991 in my uh, complete Marvel reading order read through. So this is ahead of me uh, and I'll get to them, I don't know, next year um, uh, behind them where I should be for this year's targets. So I hope to catch up uh, through the summer. That's neither here nor there. When I get one of these epics, I always go to the complete Marvel reading, CMRO, complete Marvel reading order website. And I like to mark off, strictly speaking, as owned uh, away as I read through the CMRO to see what stories I have in trade form, as opposed to I only put the trades, color trades, uh, in there. Um, I leave out the black and white trades that I have, and I leave out the original. Fantastic uh, four. I leave out the original um, comics as well. I don't bother putting them in as well because I have a different separate database on my iPad for those. So we're looking at Fantastic Four. Uh, this book, this collection opens with 377. So I go to the uh, right page on CMRO and I come along to 377. So I can see that uh, I don't have it owned, marked as owned, although I would nearly... Hmm, 1993. I may have a, an original copy of this. I'm not sure. I definitely wasn't reading it regularly at this point. I have some, some of these issues I picked up in later years, dirt cheap. I honestly don't know if I have that one. I can check if I go and get my um to go and check my uh iPad. Or I suppose I could open the comic boxes behind me, but it's quicker to go through the database anyway. The main purpose of what I'm doing here today is just going through each one. So 377, if this be war, and I can mark that as owned. Move on to the next one, 388, or 378. I didn't pay attention, Michael. So I flick through the comic, get to the end of the comic there, and there's a couple of extras, and all the extras in the epics. There's page art stuff, yeah, they're so cool. And we should arrive at 378 right there. Chaos in the courtroom. And again, I mark that as owned. Move on to 379. And while that's happening there, go through the comic quickly. Hopefully, I'm holding this at some sort of angle that you can see what I'm at. And the light is bright enough. This is the first one of these I've done. Uh there's another nice pen up page. Yeah, so those are really cool. So we arrive at 379. Yeah, I think I have these, the originals. May not have read them as I probably, as I say, I picked them up later in the 90s. Cheap. I just never got around to reading them. That's, that's what I'm thinking happened there. Only death be my salvation. Uh, yeah, gotta love that Paul Ryan art. Tom DeFalco on the boards here. Yeah, again, I'm going to double check here. I'm holding this sort of, you know, way that you can see. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. If I get my own fat head out of the way, that's good. I'm getting better. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, So if I sit over here, it's easier for you. Uh, and let me just check one more thing here. Yeah, you can see kind of what's going on there. Right. Um, yeah, this is very much an amateurish do it DIY kind of live stream. But anyway, something doing a Sunday evening. Right, let's flip through the comic. 379 would we'll send the website on to 380. We flip through the comic, see that the boom there looks pretty good. And we arrive at 380, and that is on the cover. It's Face of Doom, which is a nice title. Comes the Hunger is the actual title. I'm not sure if that's better, but it's fine, it's whatever. And uh, we own that. I mark that as owned. Give the page a second to catch up website come on yes there we go so that goes on to 301 we flip through the comic doom i see sue sue there in that ridiculous bikini outfit thing that she wore in the 90s for a while yeah uh, maybe i'll like it when i get as far as it but i doubt it 
uh, 381 that's a cool cover uh, mark that as old yeah I like that I like that cover and and then there were three is the story title send the site on uh, obviously somebody has fallen in action nice art right there nice coloring the vibrant colors of the epics always impress me love them love them, love them. oh 382 mark that is owned and here we have fantastic three the logo has been changed sue in the stupid bikini um what's the title here captured there we go there's the title captured that's actually really good art yeah, maybe by the time I get there, I'll get past this holding a pen with his pocket and Sue with the bikini. Probably, yeah, probably by the time I get there, I won't even care. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the look of all of those. Better send the website on to 383. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. What have we got? Oh my gosh. Loving this art. And 383 maintains the Fantastic Three title on the book. And uh, we can see, uh, it's obviously Reed that's missing, is it? I'm assuming. I love not knowing anything about this era. And I love the fact that I'll forget what I've seen by the time I get to this comic next year. So I mark that as owned. Move on to 384. And again, very much the typical sort of Ryan Bonandi faces. But I like that art a lot. Hope the scripts are good. It's the Falco, isn't it? Yeah, Tom DeFalco. Can be hit or miss for me. Really enjoying the Thor that I'm reading at the moment up to 1991. So, yeah. Okay, we're at 384. And I see that they've really stuck with the uh, Fantastic Three logo uh, idea. Three, so that's obviously an arc for a long time. My Enemy, My Son is the title of this comic. This issue is so well true. Very good, very good. And we arrive at issue 47 of Namor. This is one of the cool things about, for me anyway, doing this. Because um, I don't have any trades for Namor. And I don't have any issues of Namor. Well, maybe a handful. So it's, it's useful for me to know uh, as I work my way digi di through the digital issues, digitally of Namor, which ones I have physically. So 47, which is called Sequest. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we go, Sequest. Is that a shout out to Sequest DSV? So that's included here. And uh, I wonder if there are any more Namors. Yeah, there are actually. Okay, so uh, 47. Let's go through 47 first. And I like this. Different art, obviously, different style, but it's nice. A bit more sketchy. I don't know where that. I like it. I like it. I like it. And that brings us back to Fantastic Four. Back to the four, 385. So we can click on that here. And yeah, back with DeFalco, Ryan, Bonandi. And mark that as owned. And if the site just catches up, try it again. Yeah, that's done. And obviously, Namor 48 is next. So I'm going to click on that while I flick through this comic. And again, yeah, recognize any of this, definitely. Yeah, and there's continuation, and the continuation is Namor 48. Into the Black Abyss. And we mark that as old. That's the only, yeah, other than the annual, there's, there's the extras in this volume, this epic collection are two Namors and an annual, so that's fair enough. Good, <coughs> excuse me. Good life sneeze. And we go to 386. Well, I flick through the con quickly. We're still only halfway through the epic. God, I love these books. Love these books. So much quality reading in them. And that brings us to, yeah, uh, 386. And then came Despair. And you have the same creative team. And a quick look at the cover pretty much convinces me. Yeah, that well, yeah, most of it, obviously. I was going to say. They are consistent through the run, but that's probably referring. So that's referring to Namor, isn't it? Yeah. So it is consistently the same creative team on FF for this period. Again, once you get to the nineties, 
you're off the edge of my knowledge base. I don't really know these things yet. It's all ahead of me. These are all new comics to me when I read them. Uh, and then came straight. Right, so we move on to 387. And we'll click quickly to the comic. I'm loving looking at this. I'm just loving this art. Loving it, loving it large. There's that down. Brings us to 387. Nobody gets out alive. And move on to three eight there. Let's continue. And nice, nice page there. Yeah, like that a lot. I like that a lot. Is that two versions of the cover? Yeah, okay. Doesn't say top or bottom what that's about. Usually it tells you. Okay, doesn't matter. Like that splash page. And obviously flashback, nobody gets out alive. That's fine. And Ben without the bucket, obviously he drops that. Good. Like, I think of all Marvel characters, the thing is the one I like when he's in this more traditional, um, mold traditional look. 388, art that is owned on the website. And it's uh, Deadly is the Dark Raider, would be the story title. Yes, Deadly is the Dark Raider. And again, same consistent, yeah, same team. Have we hit the linker? No, we don't. Okay. Thought for a second the panels looked a bit different, but no, they don't. Not really. And that's nice. So, Jack, thanks for the memories. Nice collage. Different, but I like it. And now we get to the annual 27. Now, the placement of the annual might be different in the epic to the uh just looking down here to see is there any quick way to get to it uh it's probably different on cmro so maybe i might um maybe just quicker to skip it for now and double back to get it the annual has two stories yeah 89 yeah I'm going to skip the angle for now and come back to market because there's no obvious link there to it. And it'll take too much time in the live feed. So I'll just go through it. And I think that's the backup, isn't it? And that brings us to. Boom, 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 boom. I've done this right. Have I done this right? 389. Yes, 389. Behold a fatal future. Mark that one is owned. And yeah, Behold the Fatal Future. Again, I like that splash page. I like that font. I like the way it's done. So we move on to 390. Oh, let's do that. Go to the comic really quickly. Vibrant colors. Yeah. The epics really are the best way to see these comics, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, 390, throwback cover. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. Sort of covers are strange. <laughs> strange. But I, uh, yeah, I like it, I suppose. Um, and that is past deceptions and future lies. Yeah, I like that font. That font immediately takes me back to the to the mid eighties and uh, the burn issues and all the story titles of so that kind of font. I like my fonts. Move on to 391. 391. And 391, Fantastic Four. If, okay, so if this be Doomsday is on the cover, that's on cover there. I like that cover. And I like that splash page. Sue's not in bikini thing anymore. It's sort of, yeah, it's a bit better. Ah, okay. If death be our destiny. That's really cool. Yeah, like that. Mark that as own. 392. Money in the 392 is the last one. Okay. So we move forward to 392. And get through this one. The last is looking pretty good. I see Ant Man there again. Popped up before. That's good. That's good. Like that. A Marvel Age cover. Yeah, it's okay. Not loving it. It's not doesn't do much for us. That's dramatic. That's dramatic there. See? 
And then we get to 392, which is the final gantlet. We'll mark that as O. And uh, yeah, I'm not loving that cover either. So maybe it's just the facing away thing. Maybe I don't like characters or I can't see their eyes. I don't know. Never thought about it before. And we click through this, which presumably is the last issue in the epic. And then it is. And then there's uh, other stuff at the end. Ash can stuff that again I won't be marking as owned on the site stuff to oh yeah stuff to peruse at my leisure but not part of the reading experience and the only thing left what's this uh finally like this began with the all new prologues okay so there's a new there's new okay okay so the trade paperback introduced new pages of story and the epic contains them three pages cool that's very cool must remember that uh, i wonder if it's noted on cmro speaking of cmro before i shut off the feed i have to go to page 331 which takes me back to the annual that i skipped uh fantastic four annual 27 and again quickly go down through the fantastic four annuals go to the f's and just waiting for the site. Site can be quite low, slow when you load everything. Two versions of the site, too. You can use it without a lot of the bells and whistles, which is what I usually use. Uh, but you can't do that for this job. So fantastic for annual. 27 is the one we're up to, which has two stories. So we'll go down quickly through them. And we arrive 25. 25, 25, 26. None of those are in collections. So that presumably either 20 volume 22 isn't out or I haven't. I think I have every epic on here. So I, but you can never can be sure. So before I check, I'm just assuming it's not out. Uh, as I say, it's not marked on here as owned. Right. So the first story in the annual uh Mobius is oh yeah, Mobius Trip. Okay, that's I like that clever title. Took me a second, well, half a second, but I like that. Okay, so that's uh, 31 pages. I recognize this guy. And uh, what is that? Was it Gust uh, Gustavich, he tells me. Gustavich and Hudson. Hence the uh, credit on the front. Nice clean art. Like it. Like it. 31 pages. Obviously, by this stage, 1994, they weren't doing big crossovers. I don't like those crossovers. I'm reading the 1991 ones. They're not great. That's a cool page. Beyond Burns is back. Obviously. Uh, I don't consider this a spoiler for me because I've forgotten that by the time I get to this book next year. Or I'll forget it and then as soon as I turn the page, I'll be like, oh yeah, I saw that page before. That's cool. Oh, I like that. That's brilliant. Well, that's the end of the story. Uh, I obviously went through the break. There's another story there, isn't there? Molecular psychology is a 25 page story. Okay, so there's two super long stories and no, yeah, okay. I just wasn't paying attention. There it is, there's where that page that one starts. I knew it was in there from the index, but anyway, no harm to you. That's it, and the last thing that remains really for me to do Go back a couple of pages to Fantastic Four's page. Click on the title of the book. Title of the series. Boom, 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 boom. That takes me to their entry in CMRO. God, I love this site. Uh, we we'll make it 100 entries a page. It's just a bit quicker. And we go to this. And if I've done it right, I should have 377 to 392 now marked as 377 to uh, to 392 are now marked as uh, owned. So I can see at a glance that I have them, and obviously the annuals are there as well. And 380, I have previously marked on the site as the page loans as a milestone. So 
So obviously, for some reason, I, I forget why I did that, but on CMRO, you can mark milestone issues and it keeps track of how close you are to them. It's like a motivator and I like it. So at some point, I read something somewhere, somebody's comment in the uh, Epic group on Facebook or possibly I read it in an article or something made me think that 380 was a milestone for me to get to it. So I've forgotten why, which I, I want to keep. I'm not going to go fishing. I'll avoid finding these things out before I read the issues. But anyway, obviously, that's a key issue to get to for me. And that is me marking off another one of my new epics, which uh, I like the look of a lot. I just loved all that art. Definitely uh, a favorite artist. Uh, and inker combination of mine and as i said to falco um i suppose a bit hidden for me really but i do i'm loving his tour so maybe i am a defalco fan and i just haven't realized it yet thanks for watching